What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back. So we are still testing a lot of stuff here um, inside the PTR and just some of the new builds and some of the current builds that we still have. So we all this is Heart Seeker, guys, and we are going to be testing. You guys have seen the build. I'll link my planner again down in the description below. However, this build suffered a huge nerf. OK, so when you go to the skill tree, and for those who don't know, currently season four, Victimize has been uh, it's bugged currently in season four where victimized damage is increased by 120 percent that's actually 240 percent so <clears throat> they have changed that or they're going to change it so we are going to feel the effects of this currently in the ptr and just see how strong the build actually is after the nerf so i'm not going to go through the guide itself you guys can just see the build planner down in the description below but we're going to run a 101 now i want to i just want to note for <clears throat> the build itself that this build would cruise through a 101 in just a, like two minutes or so two and a half minutes you could definitely scale this all the way up into the 120s in season four now we get to see how the build is actually going to be in uh the ptr so again we're still going to pop our elixir so we have that pop so our heart seekers at 77 percent but let's go through and just see how strong it actually is uh, my chat has communicated to me that this is very disappointing. Now, uh, I was gone on vacation, guys, so I'm back, and I get to test today. So let's see, let's see how how strong the build is after the the change. Okay, so the nerf is in. All right, we got a huge nerf here, so we're gonna see how this uh, this feels. I hope it's not. We now again, I knew that this was gonna be nerfed, so we all knew this coming. So enjoy it while we have it in season four. But, uh, oh boy, oh no, oh boy, oh boy. So victimize is just not doing a bunch of damage like it used to. Now, again, we used to get this up to about 600 million damage on victimize trigger, but it, it is, uh, now it's still doing okay. It's still doing okay. It's still doing all right. This isn't, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it obviously isn't doing as much damage as it used to. So these elites used to just like be deleted. Um, so that obviously is not happening anymore. Not, or at least not as fast, but I will say for the nerf changes, this actually isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought I was going to have to, like, back out and lower the difficulty. But the fact that we're still able to do a 101 isn't, isn't as bad. What bug is still going on? This is definitely not as strong as it used to be. That is for sure. The build still feels pretty good. Oh my god, I dodged that perfectly. Excellent. I love the little key things on there. God Slayer still slays. It's just not as good. God, against elites, it's it's just struggles a little bit. Okay, and then don't forget, guys, that the that the exploit weakness on Max Sacks auto kills stuff. So keep that in mind when you're seeing the gameplay right now. Yo, Smelly Hand, what's up? But let's see, where is my exploit weakness? Hold on. This isn't this isn't as bad. Deadly, where's exploit weakness? I'm pretty sure I have it on here. Cheap shot. Yeah, exploit weakness. So hitting a vulnerable enemy has a chance to increase our damage. At 50 stacks, this bonus resets and you ex execute all nearby enemies. So that does help, but... Oh, we got the double. There we go. 
So that is a, another bug. But besides that bug happening, the build itself still does not feel too bad. This is a 101. Obviously, we're a little behind on time because I had to pull that up for you guys. But this isn't... This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, if I'm being honest. Now, when we get these stacks up, when that gets to 50... The destroying of the elites on the non execute on, on the execute is definitely needs to be fixed. But boy, this build is not as strong as it used to be. Gosh, man. So guys, enjoy it right now in season four if you're still playing. And we're gonna see how it goes against the, the pit boss. And remember, guys, when you're playing the PTR, if you're doing the pit, uh pit bosses, you gotta die at least once because the there's the bug for their HP being doubled. So we got to go in and die first, and then we'll fight, and you guys get to see how it is against the, the boss on the normal damage. But even without the stacks, the execute thing, like this isn't, this definitely is not the worst. It sucks to see this build go down the, the drain, but we are going to test it with uh, Andy's, and we'll, we'll highlight that as well. But let's... Uh, we got all our stuff back. Let's go fight. We're we got to die first. We got to die really quick. So that way the, the health isn't, isn't doubled. All right. All right. Now we can go fight the boss. All right. Let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, Slither. Where you at? So you can see we do not delete the boss as fast when we stagger them like we used to. That is just gone. Boy, that's gone. But it's still not the worst. Like it's still not the worst. We got a we got Stegen Stone, which is cool. But boy, is that does that suck? boy does that suck now real quick just for the video obviously the paragon board is going to have to change slightly for Heartseeker with the poison but what i do want to do real quick is come in here to andy and just use andy and just highlight another 101 now the build and the board are exactly the same and we're just swapping the helmet because of the lucky hit so let's see um let's see let's see specter says bye bye all right man so let's see what happens with the Andes because all of that is fixed for Andes. I just want to see because this may be the future of Heartseeker to a degree. So let's just see how. I don't think the poison damage is like you can see it on there, but obviously we would need to invest into poison for that to really scale. But it's not bad. If we invest more into the poison damage like in our board then i think it's going to do a lot more damage but uh because we could scale that poison damage really nicely but it is kind of crazy to see so andy's may be the future now i do want to go highlight something and show you how the bug <clears throat> my my community is suggesting that i show you the execute on the 200 which i'll showcase now so you guys can kind of see it but uh if we go in and do a 200, just so you guys can, can see, the execute will destroy absolutely anything. So you guys will see this. But I will say overall, the Heartseeker build itself doesn't seem to be too bad. Uh, obviously the nerf hurts it immensely. Rapid fire is probably gonna be better um, now. So if we go in, if we can just get this to 50 stacks, right? And then you guys will see the explosion here. See, execute just destroys absolutely everything. So at 200, when you get your stacks here to 50, 
it will it will just auto kill anything you see i'm like doing no damage and then they just die so you could at at a point get this to 50 sacks and just run through the dungeon this way if you want to for the ptr just for the sake of it i guess because when you get to 50 just everything dies so which is a thing but this is this is a bug keep that in mind guys this is a bug but just for the showcase i want to i want to just show you how the bug is working because then everything is just instantly dead so you could run through the ptr farm these things if you really want but i will say my beloved heart seeker build all our rogues out there it is going to be nerfed for season five and every season therefore after so enjoy it now heart seeker seems to be <clears throat> obviously not in the worst state possible but it's definitely not in the best state possible so yeah that's my final thoughts on it guys again the, the build link and everything will be down in the description below if you guys want to play it for season four so enjoy it otherwise we will be coming up with an andy's version for this um just so everybody can see but yeah guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think of the nerf to heart seeker was it too much or did it need to be nerfed anymore i don't think so i think it should be buffed just slightly more just slightly more so it's not too bad but uh yeah that's the build guys like comment don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace